Hi, my name is Emily Wellhausen and I am applying to be a teacher with English Open Stores. Um, I am really a perfect candidate for this position because I have international travel and volunteer experience. I also have teaching experience and most of all I really have the passion to bring cultural diversity into the classroom and also really learn from Chile and hopefully um, expand on myself as well while I'm there. So my teaching experience actually primarily comes from teaching dance. I was the assistant ballet director at a studio for three years and during that time I was responsible for teaching three-year-olds all the way up through adults and I had to develop a lesson plan that kind of progressed throughout the entire year so at the beginning of the semester when they knew no ballet at all, um, you know, I taught them the terminology and, you know, taught them a dance as well so that at the end of the year they had something to perform um, at our yearly recital. So um, in addition to teaching dance, I also volunteer with Junior Achievement. Uh, that is a program that brings volunteers into the school system to teach about uh, personal finance and economics and I actually volunteer with a kindergarten class um, teaching them lessons about uh, money and saving and earning and things like that. So um, with that classroom experience, I really think that I'm going to um, bring something valuable to the Chilean classrooms as well. Um, most of all, I really have a passion for traveling. My brother and sister both uh, lived abroad for a few years, so I had the um, pleasure of going to visit them uh, in Europe. And I have also traveled to Ecuador and Guatemala on service trips where we worked with schools and communities, um, kind of helping them out however they saw fit. So. Um, actually, that's where some of my teaching initiatives come in, is from the lessons that I learned actually while I was in Latin America. Um, first off, when I was in um, Guatemala, I was trying to speak to a family that was kind enough to bring us into their home to for dinner. So I was trying to speak to the mother about um, the weather and some kind of beginner things. They spoke no English, and so my, my Spanish level only brought us to kind of very generic things um, and I was trying to talk about snow and unfortunately I couldn't remember the word for snow so I was kind of talking about rain and white on the ground and eventually she found out what I was trying to talk about and we were able to continue the conversation. So that's really where my idea for some of my teaching initiatives came in is um, First off, I really want to make it fun for the children. I found that when I was teaching dance, if I could bring games and kind of fun activities to the lesson plan, it made them learn without even realizing that they were learning. You know, we were just playing a game and at the end of the day they knew new terminology and things like that. So um, that's where I came up with the idea of using Taboo, the American game Taboo, as kind of a formula to have teach children to speak about words even if they don't know what they are. That's really the whole point of speaking another language is just making yourself um, understood. So even if you don't know the word for snow, you can talk about other things around it and eventually get your point across. So that's what one of my main goals would be is to teach um, this game taboo. So a child would have to describe a word in English. They'd have, they could use any word they wanted to describe it and then other children would guess so that eventually you know they would, would guess the word. And then as the semester went on and their English skills got stronger, then um, eventually there would be words that that the, the student can't say. So, you know, I might take away the word rain, so they would have to describe snow without talking about rain. So, um, and eventually make it more and more difficult. So at the end, there would be like six or seven words that the student couldn't say um, when they were trying to describe the word they wanted to say. So I really think that it's going to bring a real life application of the skills, um, you know, teaching another language and language skills to children. Um, because a lot of times you don't know the word that you actually want to say. So um, I think that my combination of skills and really my passion for the classroom is going to make me a really successful volunteer with this program. And I want to thank you so much for your consideration and I really look forward to working with you in Chile.